So this is a demo for vehicle FSM by uh, DCO vehicle FSM to be correct. This mission has been made by uh, YIP man and it's an ambush and what we're watching is simply how the vehicles react with using the FSM. So the smoke that you see that they're popping that's a uh, product of the FSM. So what just happened is these <coughs> Blue 4 tanks went into contact with Op 4, attacked, the FSM is now directing them to flank uh, because they have discovered that they're not as superior as they thought they were. Uh, and uh, so yeah, first defensive measure would be uh, pop the smoke and then they will do a assessment and it seems now that Upward is pushing meaning that they are stronger let's see it using the debugger so same mission new iteration and now we have the uh, debugger activated meaning that we can see what the AI is thinking so, same shit, uh, Blue 4, no, I mean, Op 4 is going to advance, and as soon as Blue 4 spots Op 4, uh, they will attack. So, uh, the FSM works with a minimum distance, but if a vehicle fires its weapon, uh, it will activate even though it's over that uh, distance. So as you saw he fired and Blue 4 fired back, activating the FSM on both sides. Uh, the lines in the process that you see is waypoints that they're choosing for themselves. Not exactly waypoints, but a move to point. So if you're a armor nerd, you know the difference. Uh, they will keep their waypoints, but the each individual vehicle has now been given separate. Uh, move points that they go to outside of their waypoints and right now Blue 4 had got lucky in the initial contact and they're now stronger than Op 4 so they have opted to push uh, the FSM also runs on a in a loop uh, as you probably already know and it will check conditions for each vehicle and update the situation so these guys they have more or less decided like nah fuck this I'm running and the blue four will be pushing so this guy right here in the middle he got destroyed trying to repair his vehicle and uh, that's where you see the smoke so uh last note is showing you guys the options so in order to tweak the settings of the vehicle fsm what you can do in editor is go to add-on options so settings add-on options select dco vehicle fsm <laughs> this is the debug mode uh, so you've seen it with and without uh, using debug mode then you have crew auto repair so I don't know if I showed it but uh, if the vehicle can't move or can't shoot uh, or the uh, HP armor is below if I'm not mistaken I think it was below 40% the driver will hop out and repair the vehicle if you do not want that check this box uh, and then you got extra smoke so the smoke can be somewhat uh, it can affect the FPS uh, there is a uh, safe mechanism built into the DCO smoke um, th so it will not pop smoke if the FPS is below 20 however if you want to disable it anyway just check this one 
then you got minimum distance. So the minimum distance is when the FSM kicks in. Uh, and the minimum distance is somewhat dynamic, uh, meaning that if the vehicle fires, regardless of distance, that will activate the FSM. Uh, however, if it does not fire, it would have the vehicle would have to be within, in this case, 450 meters of the enemy before it starts doing its calculations, telling it where to go, and uh, you know, uh, making a decision on to push, flank, or hide. So you can tweak that here. I set it to a max of 1500 because you know it's not often you need more than that and having it too high will lead to uh, not so desirable results and in my experience the best uh, minimum distance is somewhere between 350 and uh, 450 so I set it to 450 as a default you can change this here then you have this check frequency. I know I need a better name for this one. However, uh, check frequency, what it does is the FSM is basically a huge code block that gets run. Checking conditions and uh, making decisions based upon, uh, you know, the situation. So, some of these calculations, especially the line of sight and terrain intersects with uh, type of functions, they are kind of heavy. And so you want to avoid running it too frequently because that will uh, clog up your scheduler and then you'll have a huge backlog for your computer to handle. Uh, but and so for me, for my four-year-old computer, uh, two seconds seems to be the best timer between each iteration. Uh, you might have a newer computer, you can set it down to one. I set one as minimum, I might change that in the future to 0 0.5, uh, depending on the feedback, etc and you can set it at the max of 10 seconds. If you still have issues at 10 seconds, you need a new PC. Then, uh, we got some future options that we want to implement. Uh, amongst those is uh, a optional uh, feature for uh, whether or not the uh, vehicle group should remember their waypoints. And then also switching off uh, the uh, different uh, tactics that are available to the vehicles like so let's say you you never want anyone to hide so then you can switch that one off but you know that's coming with the uh, next update what is available now though uh, is <coughs> do switching off features for individual vehicles. What you can do to tame that is this set where uh, and the variable name in this case if you don't want him to push then just write no push the variable value which should be true and then set it as global. That's just a safe measure. You might not need to set it, set it to global, but I prefer to do it like that just to be on the safe side. Now with this, this vehicle right here, it's not gonna push ever. And you can do the same thing for uh, flanking and hiding. Oops. Like so. So, so 
So if you got all three activated, they will the FSM will disregard this vehicle. Which could be useful. Let's say you got a I don't know command APC. Then setting all of these three variables will uh, make sure that that APC does not move. Or, for example, in, which is the case for me at least, sometimes you just want people to fight all the time. So what you do is that you remove... Uh, let's see. just set no hide that's it that vehicle will now either flank or push if he's in a good pos uh, situation he's gonna push uh, if he's in a bad situation completely outnumbered he's not gonna hide he's just gonna flank so yeah you can tweak around with those for individual vehicles as I said we'll make them uh, global in the future well the option to be have it globally deactivated uh yep so that's it anyway the i'll leave the workshop link in the description uh, as well as the discord and please do join uh we're not that big of a community but we are active and we're trying to make this a3 ai pretty sweet that's at least what our goal is and uh, yeah so any feedback you can give would be good